What's up squad, Brandon from the Bantu Sun. Wanted to hop on and talk about some of the things that I'm seeing with the Gaza Watch um, and how things are escalating there. It's really gonna be interesting on how Israel and the US is gonna try to keep a lid on this thing and try to stop it from becoming too big regionally. I think the US and Israel know things was gonna get out of hand or had a very, very significant uh, chance for things to get out of hand which is why you saw the the u.s battle fleet immediately go into the the eastern mediterranean uh, in preparation of such and now i have understand it's in the second battle fleet we're starting to see things such as primarily iranian linked groups or countries operating under iranian linked groups such as uh, the houthis and, and yemen starting to come in and have a little bite towards the Israelis sending over uh, drones, um, missiles, um, as well as Iran itself now is having a couple of drones shot down targeting American facilities in the Middle East. Now, managing this situation is going to be very difficult until Israel gets what they're trying to extract out of this, and who knows what that's going to be. I was surprised to actually see a lot of Israeli forces or some Israeli conflict in the West Bank. Consider I've always associated primarily uh, what I would say the Ham Hamas link militancy more with the Gaza Strip. But of course, I know West Bank has some some settlement issues going on right there. But I was surprised to see that, that escalation uh, of violence occur there as well. So big things that I'm looking out for right now is what is going to be the escalation point or the tip of point when this thing could completely blow out, blow its lid. As long as Israel is putting pressure on Gaza and they're going to continue to do so. And it seems in a very, very um, definitive nature. I think they're actually calling it like the boiling pot, the way they're just turning up the heat and things are getting more and more intense uh, in Gaza, Gaza Strip right now. You contrasting that also with the, the Iranians becoming more more restless, worried about the Shiite arc, worried about the influence of Iran in Yemen, in Syria, in Lebanon, of course in Iraq. One of the, the craziest things in the modern era was overthrowing of Saddam Hussein, who was a, a volatile player in the region and, and who knows how things could have gone differently. But since the overthrown of overthrowing of Saddam Hussein, Iran has become stronger and stronger within Iraq. And they, of course, immediately got behind a lot of, of Shiite forces to align themselves with. So all of these, these linked nations in Iran, how they continue to respond to what's going on in Gaza. And then lastly, watching the, the other Arab players. So what's going on in Jordan? What's going on in the UAE? And what's going on in Saudi Arabia and Egypt? I think those are going to be major pivotal players. I think right now they played it on the sidelines. You see Qatar keeps going in, trying to play the peace angle. They want to play a similar role to what they did with the U.S. and Afghanistan, between the U.S. and the Taliban in Afghanistan. They're trying to do that now between the Israelis and, and Hamas. So we'll see how that continues to go. But it's only a matter of time before things go from controllable to uncontrollable. So still on the lookout for that. Just thought I'd give you guys an update. Love to hear what you guys are seeing or what you're thinking is going on. Please comment below. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Until next time, take care. Bantu up.